Let's solve for the value of x. First, we need to transfer this to the other side of the equation. So when we do that, we have square root of 2x is equal to x minus root x. Now, let's square both sides of this equation. When we do that, we are going to have square root of 2x squared is equal to x minus root x squared, right? Now, square is going to remove this root, square root side. So we have 2x is equal to... Now, I want us to recall that when you have a... When you have a minus b squared, okay? This is equal to a squared minus 2ab plus b squared, okay? Now, in this case, our a is what? x while our b is root x so we can now write here that this is equal to 2x that is this 2x is equal to then a squared that is x squared right minus 2ab that is 2 multiplied by x multiplied by root x okay then plus b squared that is plus root x squared all right okay then we go ahead and solve that this is a sorry I'm being confused by this. So that means that 2x is equal to, we have x squared minus 2 times x, we give us 2x root x, right? Plus this, you remove this, and we have x remaining, so plus x. Okay, so um, let's collect like terms. So let's transfer this to the other side and solve. So we have x squared minus 2x root x, plus x okay then this 2x we cross to become minus 2x is equal to zero so we have x squared minus 2x root x now plus x minus 2x we give us minus x right is equal to zero okay now i want to transfer this minus okay looking at this we can factorize x out let's factorize x out so that we can actually simplify this equation so when we factorize x out x squared divided by x we give us x minus now 2x root x divided by x we give us 2 root x right now minus x divided by x we give us minus 1 is equal to 0 now at this point you can see that we have two uh, equations here we have that x is equal to 0 and we also have that x minus 2 root x minus 1 is also equal to 0. Okay? All right. Now, this is what we have. So, from here, we have gotten the first value of our x, which means that x is equal to 0. Now, for this side, let's now concentrate on this side, which says that for this one, which says that x minus 2 root x minus 1 is equal to 0. So we have that minus 2 root x is equal to, let's transfer this minus 1 to this side to give us 1, and transfer this x to this side to give us minus x, all right? Okay, now we can now write that this is what we have here, all right? So let me recopy it here. So we have minus 2 root x is equal to 1 minus x. That is exactly what we have there. Now, let's divide both sides by minus 2 divided by minus 2. So this, we cancel this. We have that root x is equal to 1 minus x divided by 2. Now, let's square both sides of this equation. When we do that, we have this squared and this squared, okay? So this, we remove this, we have that x is equal to, so this is what we have here, 1 minus x squared divided by 2 squared, all right? Okay, now recall that we have expanded something similar here, that a minus b squared is equal to what? a squared minus 2ab plus b squared. Now in this case, our a is going to be 1, while our b is going to be x, all right? So we can now write that x is equal to, so it's going to be a squared, that is 1 squared, minus 2ab, that is 2 multiplied by 1 multiplied by x, 
plus b squared, that is plus x squared, divided by 4. Okay, so we are going to have that x is equal to 1 squared will give us 1 minus 2x, right, plus x squared divided by 4. Okay, now at this point, we need to cross multiply. This is actually x divided by 1. So let's cross multiply. When we cross multiply, we have 4x is equal to 1 times the whole of this. We still give us the same thing. But let me rearrange this very well. So let's write x squared first, then minus 2x, then plus 1, right? Okay, now if this is the first time you're coming across us, please give us a thumbs up and on your notification bell and also subscribe to the channel, okay? Thank you so much. Now, what do we do next? I want us to equate this to be equal to 0. Okay, so let's equate this to be equal to zero. So we have 4x minus x squared. That is when this crosses becomes minus x squared. Then we have plus 2x. That is when this crosses becomes plus. And when this crosses becomes minus 1 is equal to zero. Okay, all right. Now, so this is what we have here. This is what we have here. So we have that 4x, okay? Sorry, I don't want us to confuse this with the other one. So this is where we stop that 4x minus x squared plus 2x minus 1 is equal to 0, okay? So what we need to do now is, let's actually solve this. So 4x plus 2x will give us 6x. Then we have minus x squared minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, let us um, rearrange this well. So this is a quadratic equation, so our x squared is supposed to come first, okay? So we are going to write minus x squared plus 6x minus 1 is equal to 0. Now, because of this minus sign here, let's multiply through by what? Let's multiply through by minus 1. So when we do that, we have x squared minus 6x plus 1 is equal to 0. Now, we cannot solve this using factorization method. So what we are going to do is that we are going to use the quadratic equation formula, which states that x is equal to minus b plus or minus square root of b squared minus 4ac divided by 2a. Okay? So we are going to Note that our a in this case is equal to the coefficient of our x squared, which is 1. Our b is equal to the coefficient of, sorry, our a is the coefficient of x squared, which is 1. b is the coefficient of x, which is minus 6. So we have minus 6 here. And our c is our constant, which is 1. All right? So we are going to substitute this into this particular equation. So that means that x is equal to minus b, that is minus minus 6, we give us plus 6, plus or minus the square root of b squared, that is minus 6 squared, which we give us 36, right? Minus 4ac, that is 4 times 1 times 1, which we still give us 1, right? All right, divided by 2 times a, our a is 1, which is still 2. So that means that our x, is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 32, right, divided by 2. Now, we can see at 32, let's try to solve 32. If we solve 32, when 2 divides 32, we are going to have um, 16, right? So we have a perfect square and we have ordinary number as well. Therefore, we can say that this implies that x is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 16 multiplied by square root of 2, right? That is 16 times 2. We still give us 32 divided by 2. Okay, so we continue from here. We can now write that our x is equal to 6 plus or minus square root of 16. We give us 4. We have root 2, right? Divided by 2. So this implies that x is equal to 6 
All right, let's factorize 2 out from here. So if we factorize 2 out, so we have 2 here, okay? We open our brackets. Now, when 6 is divided by 2, we have 3, plus or minus. When 4 root 2 is divided by 2, we have 2 root 2, okay? All right, so we close our brackets, divided by 2. Now, this we divide this. Therefore, the second value of x will be 3 plus, or let's bring out our x first, 3 plus 2 root 2, plus or minus. Therefore, the second value of x should be 3 plus 2 root 2, while the third value of our x is 3 minus 2 root 2. Thank you so much for watching. Have a lovely day. Bye.